not miss mary after sexual intercourse with my husband and i stand up i see sperm dropping out even after washing i see the sperm dropping out on my panties not miss mary could this be a cause of infertility what do you have to say about sperm leakage from the vaginal after sexual intercourse good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the nurse with the difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be debating on that topic. Am I debating on it? No. I'm going to be talking on that topic. Sperm leakage from the vaginal after sexual intercourse. Could it be responsible for infertility? Could it make a, child, a woman not to give birth to a child after sexual intercourse? But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. welcome back like i earlier said today we are going to be talking about sperm leaking out of the vagina but come to think of it is it just sperm that is leaking out of the vagina after sexual intercourse is it just sperm that makes up a man's ejaculate that is that fluid that a man releases into a woman is it just sperm that makes it up let me answer that question after sexual intercourse when a man is okay let's just say when a man is having sexual intercourse he releases into a woman the ejaculate we call it the ejaculate that he releases into the woman that ejaculates a lot of people believe that it is sperm alone the answer is no every ejaculate a man releases into a woman does not contain sperm alone it also contains other things it also contains other substances or secretions not just sperm alone and the fact is that ejaculate you see only 10 percent or even less than 10 percent contains sperm yes you see that fluid a man releases into a woman after um, when he has gotten to orgasm most people feel all the fluid is sperm no it's only 10 percent or even less than 10 percent of that fluid of that ejaculate that contains sperm so i want to talk about things that makes up that sperm now that ejaculate so there are a lot of things that makes it up in terms of the ejaculate the ejaculate is made up of four different components entirely so it's not just sperm alone so the first component of an ejaculate is a fluid from the seminal vesicles is what is a fluid from the seminal vesicles and this fluid they contain proteins they contain enzyme and they also contain some bioreactive substances known as prostaglandins so that's the first one then the second one are fluid that has been released by the prostate gland we all know that the prostate gland is found only in the main that's a year of prostate cancer prostatitis and all that so the prostate gland they release high concentration of citric acid to this ejaculate then the third one is secretions from the bubble urethra gland the bubble urethra gland also release secretions into the ejaculate and the last one which is the testis the testis is the one that releases the sperm and like earlier said less than 10 percent or 10 percent of that ejaculate is sperm so for those that feel that all the ejaculates of a man is a sperm that is not true now let's answer the question so for those that are asking now why do i have leakage after why do my sperm go away after um sexual intercourse it could be the unwanted product what is not needed the sperm has already gone to its direction the sperm has already gone to where it is being needed so what you are seeing might just be what is not needed the wasted products so for those that are saying oh leakage of sperm from my vagina is the reason for my infertility you might be wrong so even if you're having that leakage from the vaginal after sexual intercourse and you are infertile it might not be the reason for that for you not having child so it's advisable you do all that tests 
to confirm the reason because some women will like that is the reason whenever my husband have sexual intercourse with me the sperm comes out it's possible my husband's sperm is not strong enough it's not genuine enough it's not durable enough it's not fertile enough so that might not be the reason for the infertility a woman is passing through get yeah. because what is coming out might just be the waste product what is coming out might just be the leftover what is important for fertilization that takes place has already found its way to where it's going to has already started trekking or started using an aeroplane to get to the ampulla of the fallopian tube for fertilization to take place so um leaking sperm from the vaginal after sex is a normal thing it's a normal thing it's not something you should be worried about it's not something you should be worried about but if you're having issues with conception and you want to get pregnant and you feel that is the reason why you are not getting pregnant sincerely i would advise you see a doctor to carry out other tests other fertility tests to really know the cause of the infertility it might not be that sperm and also i wanted to know that after sexual intercourse like i said the sperm goes through the cervix to the uterus they are being protected but the remaining ones around their vaginal you know the vagina is acidic it's my the vaginal secretion might destroy those remaining sperm around it and you now start seeing those watery coming and like oh my husband's sperm is not thick this and this those thoughts keeps coming to your mind and that disturbs you so i just want you to know that leakage from the vaginal after sexual intercourse is normal it might not be the reason for your infertility it might not be the reason for your infertility even women that have children can attest to their father that after intercourse the sperm goes out so i don't want you to be worried that is why i came out here to answer that question i've told you what makes up that ejaculate and i've told you it could be the acidic environments the remaining ones that are just coming out the wasted product that are coming out so if you're having a man and you feel oh because his sperm is leaking from the vaginal after sex it's possible that is the cause of my infertility you might be wrong yes but in all in terms of fertility issues try and see a doctor they'll be in a better position to know the actual test for you to do in order for to confirm the cause of the infertility infertility yes infertility and for ladies that feel that is the cause of their infertility and they are worried okay after seeing the doctor you can lie down for long after sexual intercourse just lie down remain in that position if you feel like i've heard a lot of women after my conversation with one or two men they talked about it too they said they have to lie down for long lift their leg up so that the sperm will go inside seriously i don't know how it Effective it is but some women said they have been trying that method some said it worked for them some said it did not work you get so you can give it a try this one is just like a general knowledge i'm not saying it's i saw it in online it's scientifically proven or something you can give it a try stay on the bed for long lift your legs up stay there don't move after sexual intercourse if you are trying to conceive so that the sperm can travel far instead of coming out of the vagina now so that's generally what i have to share with you today Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmesi Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.